what a theme. Hey, today's about deep thinking. So let's go back to what we've been reviewing the last few days because it's so important for you. You see, and what what's good for me is I get to keep reminding you about it, but as I do, uh, I've always believed that being the instructor, you learn more than, than the attendees a lot of times. Um, think about this. Most everything you have in your head is hearsay. It's not fact. Now, some of it may be factual from the individual you got it from, but I'm just saying, just think about it. How much of the things do you experience compared to how much is told to you? You move into a new neighborhood, they tell you, go to this store, it's great. So you go, that's why you go. So but how many things have you found out to be a fact for yourself without somebody directing you? And I'll tell you what's even funny now is uh, the little apps and smartphones and so on, social media, there is a more than 50%, probably close to 70, 75% of purchases, including vehicles and so on, are influenced by social media. It's a huge percentage. So I got to tell you, so let's, let's go back to the what if. That was our theme. I told you I was going to keep talking about it. Today's about deep thinking. See if you can wrap your arms around this. And I've been thinking for a while about this, for a week or so. And I'm still struggling with finding out what if. What, what if I had the perfect life? What would that look like? What would my day be like? Could I wake up every day saying what if? Understanding I'm going to stretch my, my own thoughts and imaginations by saying what if. I want you to stretch yourself. So all I want you to think about today and deep thinking, take a minute or two. And all I want you to do is keep running that through your mind. And when you come up with excuses, write them down. Write down whatever it is that gets in the way. What gets in the way of you thinking bigger? Is it you? Is it your thoughts? Hey, what's wrong with saying I want to be, I want to make a million dollars next year? Well, that's ridiculous. Well, why? What if? What if everything were perfect? What would it look like? And then start writing them down. Hey, I have to have a, I have a venue. I have to have an avenue. Where am I going to make my money? Where's it going to come from? I got to start answering those questions, and see. I'm stretching my own imagination. I'm getting wiser as I go. And maybe, maybe I'm teaching myself things. Just remember, you've got to get things from other people that's been there. See, if I teach myself everything, uh, I have to understand I'm not the best teacher in the world. I need to go to people that's already been there. So whatever it is you want to do, wherever you want to go, get with somebody that's been there and ask them how they did it. What did it take? And I tell you, it's going to stretch your imagination. So, Tim Marvel, uh, 10secondsdaily.com. That's 10secondsdaily.com. And I'll talk to you soon.